Hello. Imagine you're a SharePoint administrator and users send you a link in an email or a support ticket. You click on the link and you get 404 not found error. Is the URL wrong? Did someone delete the site? Did someone change the URL? Did someone delete the homepage? This is what we are going to discuss today. Stay with me. Well, here's the problem. You receive a URL from the user in a ticket or email or anything else, and all of a sudden they complain that they cannot open this URL. You click on it and you get something like this while you know this is a SharePoint site. Now, what are the possible reasons? As I mentioned before, we can think if the URL is wrong. It's very easy to verify. I will get into that. Did someone delete the site? Again, it's very easy to verify. Did someone change the URL of the site? This is impossible because even if you change the URL of the site to something new, the old URL is still valid. So if you click on that URL, it redirects you to the new URL. Out of question. Did someone delete the homepage? And this is something that we want to talk, but let's quickly rule out the first two. It's very easy. You just need to get the last part of the URL, go to the SharePoint administration, click on the active sites, and search for the URL of the site, you will find the site. If you don't find it, you can click on the deleted site, search there and see if the site has been deleted. At the moment, the site is there. So to see what is wrong, I can simply click on this guy and I get exactly the same error. So the site exists, nobody has deleted it, URL is correct, but when you go to the site, you cannot open it. And that 404 error is simply this problem. You can see the SharePoint site under active sites, on SharePoint administration page. But when you click on it, it gives you 404 not found. Cause is very simple. Somebody has deleted the site homepage by mistake or by intention. Keep that by intention because that's an important factor on how you are going to handle this issue. Solution is very simple. You go to the site collection recycle bin and restore the deleted homepage. Well, this is a quick and dirty solution. So if you're too busy to continue with this video, go to the site recycle bin and take care of it. Otherwise, stay with me and I'm going to show you how you can handle it like a pro. Now, the first thing that we want to discuss is understanding how it happened. The simplest thing is that somebody deleted the homepage by mistake. Sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes they designed a new homepage, they deleted the old homepage before really assigning the new page as the site homepage. So this is how we approach this issue. First thing, you need to check the site pages and recycle bin for the site that gives you the error. Well, yeah, you cannot get into the site, but if I go to the end of it and add site pages and press enter, it's going to show me the list of all the site pages at the moment. Take a look at them and see what we have here. Seems like we have something called our new homepage. Is this supposed to be the new homepage? I don't know. Maybe they had an old homepage, they deleted by mistake, and this is not supposed to go online yet. So it's not just like go there and reassign it or go to the recycle bin, which is going to be the next thing that you want to check. You can either click on the link or you can go directly to the URL, just add underscore layouts slash 15 slash recycle bin dot ASPX, or while you are at site pages, you can simply click on the recycle bin. If you don't see it, go to the site setting and pick it up from there. I'm not teaching SharePoint administration here. So click on recycle bin and you will see there is like a home.aspx, seems like a deleted home page, event plan home. Uh, which one shall I restore? Which one shall I assign as home page? Well, that's why we need to have a call or meeting with the site owners and also the person who deleted the homepage. Here, make sure you take a record of deleted by and the deleted date. The reason is that if you just go there and restore the page and somebody deleted it by intention, you really cannot catch it. And to get that deleted by after you restore it, you need to get into the audit log, which is another pain. So before it's too late, as soon as you get into the recycle bin, if you find any trace of old homepage that has been deleted, make sure you keep a record of deleted by and date deleted. And these are the people that you need to invite to that meeting to discuss what's going on and then try to understand what they were trying to do and help them do it properly. 
not just going there and closing the ticket. And in this case, when I talk to the users, they say, yes, we had a homepage. It was not this one, it was this one. We deleted it because we have a new homepage. At the moment, this was the old homepage. Although it looks like a homepage, even if I click on it and I restore it, and I try to go back to the site again, refresh, still I have this 404 not found, although the client intended to delete it. But if I go to site pages now, I'm too lazy to navigate through menus. So site pages, I don't need this home. So let's get rid of it. And the client says, ah, oh, this is supposed to be our new homepage. Click, make homepage, and there we go. Now, if I go to my browser and refresh it, we have the new homepage. All right. It was a short video, but I think it was necessary. If you like this video, you know where the like button is. If you subscribe, you make my day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video.